Every time that I think we've done the last hunt for Leighton Lakes for a while, I always just feel drawn back here to go and make sure that we didn't leave anything good. So we're going to go back. I mentioned in a pretty recent video that I wanted to come back here and check one more time. Is Nightbot not cooperating? Maybe I did one thing and not the other. Let me make sure. Yeah, no, he should be there. I thought I messed up, but he's probably just a little late. All right, anyway, hopefully he's going to cooperate. And hopefully we are going to have the Whitetail cooperating as well. Um, I want to pretty much just go around and check everywhere that we've been somewhat lately. And essentially find out if there are any special Whitetail out here waiting for us. I do have relatively um, new information, I guess we'll call it. The devs, or more specifically TK, has told me to let you guys know to somewhat uh, keep your schedule clear tomorrow to catch their live stream. So I believe they stream at 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, I would certainly assume based on that information that we're going to get some kind of either reveal or at least further info on whatever all the clues and stuff has been about. So yeah, with that information in mind, I thought today might be a good day to go to Leighton because it might not be too long until we're hunting another map with Whitetail. Speaking of Whitetail, Wyoming boy, got your great one last night. Nice, dude. Very nice. Does someone know when the new map's going to be added? Like I was just saying there, I bet we're going to find out, if not an official date, a lot more tomorrow. Uh, like I said, um, it was a thing that basically, I guess the devs or the community managers or whoever over there at EW wanted you guys to know essentially... Tomorrow's stream apparently is going to have some good info, or at the very least they said to clear your schedule and, you know, be there for it, so I can only assume. Excited for the new map? It's like Christmas. Darn near Christmas in July as well. We're almost there. Excited for new hats. Speaking of such things, if you guys have not seen it yet, I posted a poll over on the community tab. If you want to check that out, um, some of you may or may not know that Kyle and I have been working on new merch and we've sort of been brainstorming and looking at you guys' feedback and looking into a way to do uh, hats. And if you want to check out that poll, there's just some things that, you know, we can use information that uh, you guys have as far as what you think about it for hopefully producing, you know, the best stuff that you guys would actually want to have. So that poll is over there. That link goes directly to the community tab. Um, I don't think you can link a specific post, but it's literally the top post, the most recent one. So it'll be right there. Um, I mentioned Whitetail cooperating. I see no Whitetail here, but could be that we're early. In that case, I think we will... Do we want to... You know what? Whitetail can drink over there. Worst case scenario, we'll probably find some Blacktail or Elk resting. So why not go over this way? Never mind. I think we're just, uh, maybe a little bit early, but odd place for him to call from. Maybe they're going to come back into this zone. There was one basically right in front of us that we sort of accidentally deleted. Maybe we can find him over here. Can we have great one merch? Uh, that would have to be an EW thing. That is, you know, that's, that's their <laughs> branding and stuff. I guess maybe the text. That's about it. Unless I could, uh, you know, get some kind of official permission on such things. I sometimes have a hard time finding Whitetail and Blacktail. I find more Elk than anything. Yet, um, Whitetail used to be kind of both easier and harder to find. They used to travel in herds generally of, of like 13 to 20. Now they're in a bunch of smaller herds, so they can more easily hide in brush and stuff like that. But they are generally, I'm going to say, almost anywhere you can see water. Whitetail can drink. You kind of got to go around your map at the drink time and pretty much just look around. I can hear. Let's get Rocky to sit still. Can hear something. I'll have to go and see what's going on. How many hours do I have in the game? Uh, it'll make me stand up if I go to looks. So let me get into here. Uh, 4,289 was the number that I saw there super quick when I opened that. Hello. Oh, didn't quite hit that. So they do drink back in here. They've just been hidden this whole time. Good to know. I've been pretty much completely overlooking that. 
get that one. Probably going to be the only one we'll get. But we can go back to the other spot and be happy with our one. Not really sure. I mean, generally speaking, we can do two, kind of two and a half runs over the course of a two-hour stream. So, even though we're sort of just checking potentially for the last time, or at least last time for a while, getting respawns still could be good for the later runs we're going to do in today's stream. Oh, is it not, Kyla? You're right. Hold on. I think I should be able to do that. I... Remember I told you that. <laughs> that I would forget. I think I can edit the description while we're live. Let me see here. Do I have a merch link for the YouTube one, Kyla? Edit. Don't mind me. Let's see if this works. I think it'll work. It might work. Okay. Luckily, we're just running along right now. Anyway. If you refresh... Can you see it now, Kyla? I'm also going to get you a command. Yeah. See, did all the things this morning, but I didn't do commands for the stream. Sad day. Alright. Switch that around real quick. I'm going to leave the same text for the moment. And okay. Don't know why that just happened. Almost there. Promise. Need that. And that. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's going to work. Fingers crossed. Alright. Now that I'm done running into things. Got it. Cool, cool. Oh. Didn't post it in Discord either. I have the link sitting there. I just forgot to press enter to actually send that through. All these strugs. What's up, Vector? Please tell me if an albino mountain lion is good because I shot and mounted one today. Yeah, they're pretty rare. They are also good regardless if it's a male or a female for multi-mounts. There's a multi-mount with a Roosevelt elk for a female mountain lion or puma. And then a multi-mount with a Blacktail for a male mountain lion or puma. So you could even put it in there. Did it work, Kyla? It should have worked. Unless Nightbot's just being slow. There we go. Cool. A little, little late, but better late than ever. Why, thank you, Hunter Man. I'm sure there's no sarcasm packed into that comment. Oh, nice, Silver. Perfect, because it was a female. There you go. Yeah, if you can get yourself a diamond or rare Roosevelt Elk or, you know, whatever you want to throw in there with it, it could make for a pretty cool multi-mount. It's been quite some time since we've even bothered to visit this lake. I was wondering if maybe one of these ducks would be special. They don't seem to be. Small lads. And when I've seen... What? That's new. I haven't seen a moose drinking down here. Ever. Good to know. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say was, down where that moose is, when I've seen Whitetail drinking at this lake, that's where it is. Clearly there is a drink zone there, just not for Whitetail, so we can go ahead and move on. Um, Hunter, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I'm back, I got my first diamond, and it was a duck. Nicely done, man. Hopefully you got that mounted somewhere in your trophy lodge. This was a place in the most recent video where we somewhat struggled to actually get all these bucks down. I don't know if we'll be able to do much better today. That's the best one. If we can get these two, that one might not hear the shot. I think that'll be the way we go about this. Okay, that's those two. That guy's none the wiser. And, uh, oh wait, what's that guy doing? Where was he hiding? Alright, um, so, he might end up stopping. I'm not even sure. 
Um, Landon, thank you for the super chat as well. I really appreciate the support, man. Yeah, he's nervous there. Hopefully that's going to kill him. And this dude is now attentive. This is the most roundabout way of trying to kill every buck in a zone I've probably ever done. But we'll make it work. What's up, corpse? Hope work's going well. All right, that is at the very least all four hits. Can't promise that one is going to go down. Hey, Carmeet. I found a gold wildebeest that was 0.1 off a diamond. That is unfortunate, but the, the good news is diamond wildebeest are fairly common, and in fact, so are gold wildebeest. So I'd say it's quite likely that you'll find a diamond gold out there somewhere. Are the dogs on consoles? They are. Just killed an albino bison. Nice play. Somebody posted an albino gold European bison in Discord today, and I'm super jealous of that. I can't stand to grind them. I just don't care for Hirsch enough, but I'm so tempted. It would be such a cool thing to have a, a gold rare Euro bison, because we have two diamonds in the lodge, but I don't even think I've ever killed a male rare Euro. They're, they're pretty uh, tough to come by. What's up, bottom boy? Mondays suck. That's that's why I stream on Mondays, you know? Try to lighten the mood, lift the spirits a little bit. Hey, Tux. Stream's going pretty alright so far. We should be five whitetail bucks in pretty much 12 minutes in. Good time. Got in here 12 minutes in. I like it. Speaking of 12s, I'll mention that once again. Uh, if you did not see the community tab post that I made earlier, um... Basically, Kyle and I have listened to a lot of you guys' feedback, as well as have been brainstorming, and we're looking at trying to do 12 hats of some sort. So if you want to vote in that poll, if you have an opinion one way or another, uh, feel free. What's up, Savage? I am not too bad. Been working on all that stuff that I've been mentioning there with the merch. Out here, hunting whitetail, trying to find another great one, you know, just casually looking for great one number two would be quite nice if we could get a second one. Um, I guess we'll go up here into Belmont. The issue is I don't have tripods at a lot of my spots now, so we're kind of, you know, halfway dealing with not completely set up maps, but that is, of course, the consequence of our last stream, where we took them down kind of in preparation for a second grind that now may happen on another map, where, for one, there's like 12 rabbits over there. Where are these deer going? I'm not sure. I'm not gonna let him get there. Oh, that was not the shot that I wanted. But, uh... Yeah, they usually drink right here. Well, might be stuck with one in that case. We'll be coming back here later in the stream, and leaving one less buck here should only help us to get them all down. Speaking of Eurobison, where do they live? I want to get a rare or a diamond. Good areas to definitely check would be t -Chanel, um, I believe the other region I'm thinking of is called Schoenfeld, and then Spreeberg as well. Uh, Landon, thank you so much once again. Where would I go to see the data chart for the Hunter Call of the Wild Animals? We have spreadsheets in the Discord that have, I'm guessing, the information you want. When you say data chart, I'm not 100% sure, but everything from, like, the weights to the levels required for diamond to the scores required for diamond... Uh, the animal classes, the weapons to use, like, all that stuff is listed in those spreadsheets, so you can check those out. I did not see an 85 to 100 whitetail buck. Where does he live? It could be. <laughs> guess there's a moose over there. That he's in the further north zone. There's one not too far from where that moose is. Guess we'll go and take a look in that general vicinity. Where's the pull? Top of the community tab there, Tux. Kyla had it in the chat just a moment ago. Wild Gang. I like it. What weapons do you recommend for moose hunting? I would probably go with the 300. It's a pretty consistent one to bring them down, and the nice thing is, because it's bolt action, you can, a lot of times, get a second shot off, sometimes even before they flee. So if you have, like, a poor shot, or if you just want to hit them a second time, you know, for good measure, because they are such large animals, the 300 is a really good 
caliber to do that with. Yeah, I can't figure out this zone lately, unless the tent is too close to where they drink, which is possible. I'm not sure where the deer over here are actually at. Um, have you tried the task manager, Dylan? Seems odd. Forgot to hit the like button. It happens, winners. It happens. I see no deer over there, so maybe that zone has just stopped spawning deer. That is a possibility. In that case, I want to make sure we hit a lot of High Lake and Calburn today, because I think that's a place that we sort of put on the back burner accidentally in the last stream and video. So I'll make sure to go through all of it today. I've seen a bunch of level 2 female mallards lately. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> they're not incredibly rare, but I feel like they're just cropping up out of nowhere. Nice, Tux. I appreciate the feedback. Oh, I can imagine, Savage. I mean, you can do it yourself, Hunter Man. I'm probably not gonna sell such things, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure it would be a very niche market. Good doing. Shot a gold pie bowl. That's a... Yeah. Guess there's a zone right behind my tent. Anyway. Shot a gold pie bowl female fox last night. Wish it was a male, but can't complain too much. Still pretty cool, man. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make it into a video. I really don't even know what I may have been saying at the time. I'd have to go back and look. On Friday's Twitch stream, we shot a piebald male fox. Another tiny one, a little silver. But, uh, yeah. My couple of rare fox have not even been gold. Where is that buck at? He's gotta be just back in the brush. I'm gonna try to stay where I can see. What's your dream car? I really don't have one, to be honest. Like, what I drive has never been that important to me. Now, I do intend on actually getting a new Ranger here, like, relatively soon, just because I want a truck, but I need something that is going to get more than two miles per gallon, so that's the direction I'm looking at going in, but I wouldn't in any capacity call that my dream car or truck. Big mail merch? Yeah, that's, that's something Kyle and I, I see you're saying that as well, have sort of debated on. I think maybe not the emojis, but maybe if we can come up with a neato little design for that. We'll have to see. We'll look into it. A 1994 Dodge Caravan? Yes. And also, yes, Kyla. Can just come surprise you in such a thing. My F-150 is not... I think I got a bearing going out in... Uh, pretty sure it's the passenger side front wheel and I I was delivering hay yesterday um I guess those of you that don't know I help my dad he's I'm gonna call it more of a hobby farmer than anything but um yeah it's hay making season and I don't know what kind of sound it made when I was reversing with that trailer on there but I'm pretty sure it's on slash legs that's a new zone anyway. Snake, I thank you for the super chat. Imagine if you found a great one on both maps. That would actually be pretty cool. Could uh, attempt to be the first to do such a thing. Also, I'm hoping we'll find out what animals will be on the new map soon. Yeah, um, I'll say it once again, for those of you that weren't here earlier in the stream. The message I've gotten from uh, EW themselves is to let you guys know to, if you can, clear your schedule and make it to tomorrow's EW stream. I believe it's 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, it certainly sounds to me, I don't know what there's going to be, but based on that message, it sounds to me as if something rather important is going to be revealed or said or shown or something. So I would most certainly recommend um, trying to get there. Honestly, if you can't make it, I'm sure there's going to be quite a number of videos put out about it. I'll probably try, but I do have a Meat Hunters video coming out, so worst case scenario, I'm sure it's going to be all over YouTube anyway. They do, Bottle Boy. They sure do. I wonder if anyone's ever gotten a rare great one. 
Someone just posted a fabled piebald great one in uh, the official Discord, like in the great one chat. But it's just the trophy shot image, and a lot of times, like, I don't mean to discredit anyone, and I, like, let me make this clear. I'm not saying that it's a illegitimate kill, but a lot of times when it's just the trophy, uh, trophy lodge image and no harvest screen or anything, they tend to be hacked, unfortunately, and there have been so many hacked rare great ones, that's the immediate response, and that's quite unfortunate, and I, I really hope sometime down the line EW can do something about that to where it's either more difficult or, you know, maybe even impossible to spawn in rare great ones and such like that that people do, because it really does devalue them, like, they are so rare, but then when people get them, you know, illegitimately, it just makes them, it makes the legit ones, I should say, less interesting, less valuable, less mystique around them. Something like that. Do you watch Meat Eater? I most certainly do. Patiently awaiting the 12 ads. We are gonna try. It's gonna probably take a little while to get kind of like a you know, a visual thing going. There, there was something I was working on before the stream, though, that I think may have pretty decent potential anyway to work with that. Should I shoot a level 3 mallard with a 243 or buckshot? Um, I take it you are just accepting the fact that you're gonna mess up the, um, what's it called, the proper ammo check, since you're saying you don't have the 22 or birdshot, because Neither of those are going to pass your check. I would leave it, unless you're in multiplayer. Just leave it there and someday come back to it. I've killed level 3 ducks that I saw, like, weeks to months earlier, and eventually found them in the same place again. What's the meaning of 12? Alright, this was also asked in the community tab poll. Basically, it's just a sort of silly meme in this community that caught on and you know whenever asked whenever someone asks like how many of something is there or just a, any question where the answer would be a number the response as a joke tends to be 12 so it's just yeah the the thing that is caught on to the degree where there's no stopping it i want to kill that because it's a leucistic duck there we go but I was struggling. What's up, Nova? I'm doing pretty well. Hope you are as well. Holy whitetail cut a live stream. Glad you can make it, dude. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Eight diamonds and rares? Nice, Sam. It's really been quite some time since I've gotten to do a whole lot of grinding Call of the Wild. Like, there was the entire last month, basically, I was turkey hunting. So I'd play for, you know, the video for the day, most of my grinding has gone into Primal for that T-Rex, and by the way, I still don't have it, so, yeah, you, <laughs> you got it, bottom boy, that's the idea, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm still continuing to grind with that uh, Primal T-Rex in mind. My duck game has not changed, you know, right before the stream. I killed three in a row, about that range, like no misses, and I thought, you know, it'd be cool if I could do that on stream, that would look good. But instead, what happens on stream is exactly what happened there. Twelve misses and then eventually hit. See? There's your twelve. Me when I'm out of Rockstar, is that what your eyes look like? I hope that's uh, the sign for somebody else to get you a Rockstar before you, you know, go berserk. If that's, your, if that's the look. Got an albino level 5 troll mule deer? I think... I think I saw that. If you posted that in Discord somewhere, I believe I saw it. And that is just massively unfortunate. I'm trying to think what to <laughs> do here. They're all does. Do we just leave them? Because, like, I'm not intending on spending a bunch more time hunting whitetail on Leighton 
if the new map is going to have whitetail, like, that's where I'd like to spend most of my time, at least in the coming future, so to save time, we'll go this way. Charles, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Love your streams, keep up the work. I will definitely do my best. Thank you, man. Oh, that was great, Kyla. That was such a great time. <laughs> we were in the truck for 12 seconds, and there was a rock star all through my cup holder. What's the worst troll you've ever seen? One of the worst I've experienced? Well, I've had a couple of troll red fox. Those have just crushed my spirit. Not on the grind, actually. It was prior to my grind, but in both cases, like, I was recording it, I was saying, like, as I was going up to claim it, like, this could save so much grinding time. Whatever, I don't like hunting red foxes. This would be so nice if it made diamond. And both times, when it was just a gold, I just stopped talking. Like, I didn't even continue to react. Just crushed my little spirit. But I, th I think the worst was actually the... Some of you were there for it. The level 5 moose on Medved, just before their scoring thing was changed. So, 290 point something was the requirement for Diamond Moose for the better part of like a year there. And then, I don't know exactly when it was. I'm going to say January, February, it got changed down to that 274.9 mark. And like just before that, we were looking for a Diamond Musk Deer. And... <laughs> I was sure this level 5 moose was big enough to make 290. Like, I was so sure, I was 100% confident, I hadn't killed a diamond moose yet on the new system. And when it came up as a gold, like, I couldn't... <laughs> the rest of the stream we did it on a different map. I just was not having medbed after that. I've never had one just... I guess... Yeah, crush my spirit's the best way to say it. I just could not continue on medbed. What's up, Steven? Uh, so glad I could finally catch a stream, been watching your bits for a long time, and great work, and keep it up. Well, thank you, man. I will most certainly do my best, and I'm glad you can make it to a stream as well. Hopefully it's going to be a good one as far as whitetails go. Got, oh, you know what? There's a zone right up here in front of us. I think there's two zones. Yeah, we better fast travel to the tent, because what's going to happen is, we're going to spook them by fast traveling if we don't do it now. Dreadfed indeed. I We're not done with that map. The reason that I've not gone back for the reindeer grind, by the way, is because of the render glitch. It There's so many long shots on Medved because you're shooting across those huge, you know, iced over lace. I'm, we're just going to lose too many to the render glitch to bother doing it right now. So I do got to go back. I was going to say I'm so glad to be officially done with it, but really I'm not. <laughs> we're going to have to go back to look for more reindeer, but... It's nice to not feel pressure to go there for a while anyway, due to the glitch keeping me from it. Uh, he's the back one, huh? Or no, it's the front one. Cool. So yeah, I think there is another white tail zone somewhere to our left. I used to have a tripod here and it made it a lot easier to see, but of course we took all those down last week. If they're there, uh, I'll see him. It could be the fact that they just moved. How dare he. Does anyone actually like Medved? I even used to like Medved. I thought for quite some time it was, if not my favorite map, it was one of my favorites. And it was seemingly one of the best for diamonds. I can't quite place what changed. I mean, I guess we got maps like Verhunga and Parque. And maybe the time required to put in to kill a diamond, maybe the difficulty of finding a diamond just went down. And therefore, nobody wanted to spend the time on Medved, because... Like, that's where we were going. That's where I got my albino diamond moose. Zaggy had his piebald diamond reindeer there. Tons of diamond moose and diamond pigs and stuff were shot. And then, yeah, it just kind of died, I guess. I don't know. How? That's a lot of mods, Dylan. 
Hope you have a heck of a farm going. You should, if you're in the Discord. You should post screenshots in the other games uh, channel. Let's... I haven't gone very far up Calburn in a while. Let's check what's going on down this way. I used to have a zone for Whitetail, I think, here. So we'll at least make it that far north. Go to Diamond Harlequin Duck last night. Nice, man. They are, in fact, my favorite species of duck. The fact that they can be albino quite helps that. Speaking of, that was another thing we killed on Friday's livestream. I should make a video out of that. Maybe... Eh, I was going to say maybe Wednesday, but we'll have to see. We had the red fox and the albino harlequin. Which map do you recommend? Um, if I had to just choose one, I would probably recommend... As far as DLC maps, since Layton comes with the game, because I was going to recommend Layton. Uh, Silver Ridge Peaks or Verhunga. Silver Ridge Peaks if you're more interested in like North American game. Verhunga if you're looking for maybe more exotic game. Um, Brian, I don't accept... Steam friend request, and I know that can sound kind of, you know, gross or whatever you want to call it, but my Steam friends list would just be forever full, unfortunately. Tis just a part of it. Are you still looking for a diamond red fox? I am. I was gonna... I'm actually glad I didn't do a YouTube poll, because we ended up doing another one today, but I was gonna post a poll last night, basically asking, like, do you guys want to see... A whitetail stream or a red fox stream, but for one, we did the red fox on Friday, and also I'm pretty sure whitetail would have won that pool, so yeah, I'm still looking. And if tomorrow uh, EW has anything to say on their live stream, which to me it most certainly sounds as if they do, um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to double down my efforts. I really want that red fox out of the way, like, I really want to be done, but I just can't find one. You like a bottom boy? A little less laggy than the other one. Cleaned it up a little bit. I like it. Just uh, says hey and goes away. New video idea, best ducks I hunted? So, like, kind of like a montage of our biggest and rarest ducks, kind of, that kind of idea? Okay, our old whitetail zone was, I think, right here. We killed a very tiny albino here once. Not seeing anything as far as deer in this area, so I guess we'll move on. Got about 30 minutes in game, so let's maybe get to... Doesn't Scarecrow have Whitetail here? I want to check this spot. I don't know if that's where it is. It just looks like this spot to me. We'll give it a look. Would you rather have a diamond melanistic fox or your great one? The great one has antlers, and the the thing about like red fox, coyotes, bear, any non-antlered animal in the game, really, or even let's say no antlers or horns, is that they're all the same. Like a level one male fox is the exact same size as a level 9 male fox, like if you put them side by side in the trophy lodge, even though one's supposed to weigh 6 pounds and one's supposed to weigh 34, they are physically the exact same in appearance, and it just makes them a little less interesting to me, so I say the great one just for that, because you can immediately see it, you don't need to, you know, pull up the information on it. Aha! There is a whitetail zone. So our, um... Our spawn point, being at the lodge, was too close. But if we... Where's the best place to do that? We gotta get... Yeah, probably over there. We gotta get to a point that's about 200 meters from here. And we should be able to see them. So let's leave a waypoint there. That is darn near perfect. We'll go across. And we should get to see some new whitetail. I haven't ever hunted here, but... I kept on... Seeing Scarecrow go to this spot during his Great One grind. And I always wondered. Do you use the 270? I use it on occasion. I like it. It's just, when you compare it to other class 4 to 8 weapons, so take the 30 out 6, the M1, uh, the 303, it just, it's not quite there. I think it should be a 3 to 7, probably. It makes sense. 
Like, it's still above the 243, you can't go down to class 2 animals with it. But I think it in the 6.5 should get pushed down to that 3 to 7 range. Right in there with the Mosin. Live is always blurry at my 144p. It's great. The 34 pound fox just got denser bones. Is that right? Uh. Makes sense to me. Carter, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate the support. Pixel deer or not, doesn't really even matter. The prospect of seeing a new deer is always a exciting one. Where are they hiding? It is possible that they're not drinking exactly where like the zone was showing. Oh, now they're there. Let me back up a little further just to make sure everything's gonna spawn in. And we'll run down and take a look. I think they should add a jackrabbit great one that's actually a jackalope. You know, I just think they should give us the option to do jackalopes in the trophy lodge. They did the robots in Hunter Classic, and that's like that was the the approach I guess I took to trying to get one in the lodge. Because a bunch of people have jackalopes in their real life, you know, trophy lodges or whatever. I think they should let us do it. Let us kill, like, a small deer. Maybe a, a whitetail or whatever below a certain score could be put into a uh, jackalope mount. Then they could be unique. Okay. That guy. That guy. And, wow, they were gone fast. Did I see... I did. Oh, wow. Small male and slightly less small male. Can you pick a direction? Thank you. A little too low and my follow-up was a little too quick. Can we get that still? Maybe if he falls down in there. That works. <laughs> Alright, we'll just take our three because we were not at a tripod. Speed up the process a little bit, and let's take a look here. It is 1449. We might be able to make one more zone here. How do you say that? Thessalosaurus? Oh my goodness, these words. This ornithopod dinosaur is believed to have been omnivorous due to the pointed teeth in the front of the mouth and leaf-shaped teeth in the back. Good to know. Nice, Sam. You're just out here slaying diamonds today. Is it still possible to get a 300 plus moose? It is. I had a 300.6 on the new system. It's You basically need like one near the very top of their possible scores, but it can in fact still be done. I love when they land, like this isn't a good example, but when they land against a tree or a rock or something, they always look cool. Kind of just realistic, I guess, is a better way to say that. Um, where is... Uh-oh. Yeah, that one that we shot over the rock to try to hit, we didn't hit that well. We'll see if Rocky can find him. And in the meantime, I think... Yeah, we must have gotten vertebrae. It'll be fine. In the meantime, the other one's going to be dead somewhere right up here. Almost missed the stream. We still got well over an hour to go here. Thank you, bottom boy. My, uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with my outro of the most recent Meat Hunters video. It was one take, no edits, and I was super pleased. Close on that one, Carter. Hopefully you can get one that is going to make it. Uh. Alright, let me take a quick look here. We're going to try to... Oh, you know where we got to go? We'll check here, and then... If there's nothing there, we probably still have time to get to the lake just north of this. Um, Eric and Alexander, thanks for the super chats, guys. Have you ever checked the <laughs> westernmost lake in Chopeka for Whitetail? I have two different drink zones there on my map. Westernmost lake in Chopeka. Here? Or here? I've, I've not gone up there in a long time. We can go and give that a look. We can do that maybe first thing, because it's going to take a pretty good run to get there. Do we have anything at uh. all drinking back in here? Because we killed our last doe, I think in the last video. There's a white-tailed doe over there. Maybe they moved? 
or it moved. If there's none, hold on. They're not spawned in yet. I see. Well, good to know. Uh, Snake, I thank you as well, by the way. It would be cool if Predators had a difference in size. Yeah, and, you know, Classic did it, and I think they did it quite well. So they ought to be able to do it in Call of the Wild. I see two bucks. Should be doable here. Uh, just because if we use this waterfowl blind, it's going to reduce our hunting pressure. And assuming we get to come back here today, that would be a wise decision to take advantage of such a feature. So frontal shot first, because it's tougher. And then hit that guy. And yeah, that'll just about do it for those. Probably, yes. There you go, bottom boy. <laughs> Got a diamond black tail. Nice, Braden. I hope to see black tail great ones at some point. I think that could get a lot of hype behind them because black tail on Layton with legacy racks may have been more impressive than white tail, but <laughs> then of course, once. Truax kind of took over, Blacktail got less impressive, and maybe some great ones there would make them a little more interesting. The one on the side of the map, the far west one? Alright, gotta be that one then. This is Chapika, right? I think so. Wait, Willipeg. I'm pretty sure this whole region is called Chapika. Of course that's the one that's not showing up, but I'm almost sure, because that's Chapika Outpost. I'm almost sure that's the case. Advice on how to get a diamond mountain goat? If you check out my recent... I think it was called something to do with a mountain goat grind. Uh, that video. I pretty much showed the way that I was doing it, and that would be pretty much the way to go. Try to check out those spots, shoot as many male mountain goat as you can, and repeat. Okay, let's go ahead and reset. We're going to go to 12-12. We're going to switch maps rather than just end the game. Quattro, for some reason, doesn't tend to despawn my tents, so we'll go there. When do you think that the new map trailer is going to be released? Well, uh, funny you asked, actually. So people do quite a lot of looking into things, trying to get any possible information they can. It seems as though there is a private video in Expansive Worlds playlist for like Call of the Wild videos or something. I don't know exactly what playlist it is, but it's there. So, uh, I'm going to say soon, if not tomorrow. If they add Blacktail Great One, the rack should be the OG rack for Blacktail. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't be upset. Would be fine by me. Okay, this still shows us... That's Heightened Peaks. When you say almost out of the map... Then Chopika's like this chunk, but when you... It almost has to be this one. I hope that I'm right in, uh, in where you want me to go. Worst case scenario, we find out if Whitetail live up in this area, I guess. Hi. Shot my first white tail buck in classic. It was a 194. That's a heck of a first, dude. In my entire, like, 4,300... No, more than that. 4,400 white tail kills? Maybe even higher still? I've had... I think exactly three that scored higher than 194. Or 194 or higher, in fact. My, my first 190 plus was also 194. So, that is a pretty big one. They should add a Mule Deer Great One. I would want that before a Blacktail Great One. I know I was just talking about a potential Blacktail Great One, but I they just did so well with Mule Deer Truex. I would really, really love to see what they could do with Great One Antlers. Okay, sorry about that, Eric. I'm trying to make sure that I uh, got you right for such a long run, but it's a good first lake to check on a run like this because it kind of ensures that Whitetail are going to be in the rest of the zones. Apologies for my... Uh, indecisiveness could probably call it 
Does it hunter man? Are these technically Colombian blacktail? Yeah. Cause I'm not sure. And Eric, thank you so much again for both the super chat and the advice. There's some deer tracks. What do we got here? Blacktail. 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 I must say, the entire time that I spent grinding for the original great one, I checked. I said everybody water, never up here, never once. So I'm not sure what's going to be up here. No worries, Tux. What's going on, Joe? Ryan's going pretty alright. We're going to check a potential new spot here. We already found one. Um, right up here in... What's this place called? Is this Calvern? Boy. Norden. I'm really losing track of my uh, latent knowledge lately. But, yeah. Killed a couple of new bucks up there. We're going to go check this area in Heightened Peaks. These aren't Thitka Blacktails, so yes. I wasn't sure... Uh, if there might be another subspecies or not. Great one just chilling up here. If there's a great one up here, I might freak out just a bit. Is that so, bottom boy? Interesting. Good to know. Keep these spots in mind. Currently doing a great one grind? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I... Like I said last week, um, you know, I was taking down all my tripods to set up for a new one here on Layton, but then we got the official, um, you know, reveal of at least Whitetail on a new map, and now I want to wait and see. But we've done, there was last week's stream, because we were shooting Whitetail as we did it, and then there was a video in the middle of the week where we went and shot Whitetail, and I just felt the need to come and make sure that we didn't have, like, a great one spawn off any of that. And now we're out here. Oh, interesting bottom boy. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Hunter Man. Oh, you already did. Don't mind me. That is... That is just like the classic ones. I wonder if that's... That probably is the reference image they use, because that's darn near the same. It shows you the region on the top right corner of your phone. Yeah, but it's showing you, like... So this is Willapeg. But the greater region is Heightened Peaks. Oh, this is like half Willapeg and half Chapika. Okay. Now I see what was going on there, Eric. It makes sense. Are you going to do a grind for the... Oh, the great one on the Mexico map? I don't know. It depends. If we get to go and check out that map, and it's got, you know, a bunch of lakes and... Ooh, there are going to be whitetail here. Cool. Anyway, yeah, if it's got a bunch of lakes and, you know, if it looks like it would be a, a good map to grind whitetail on, then absolutely we are going to do it. If it... Maybe... Okay, let's say whitetail drink time, for instance, on the new map is like 12.30 to 1 o'clock or something really, really brief, then I'm just simply not going to grind them there because it's not going to be worth it. I remember Tux killing a piebald blacktail up here. Like, I've checked here, but never once for whitetail. Do great ones respawn? Um, I'm not exactly sure how you're asking that question. If you shoot a great one, you're not guaranteed to have another great one on the map. If you shoot a great one, you are going to get a new respawn of some sort. And I believe great ones only appear as a respawn from an animal that you shot, like a, a different whitetail. So, I mean, they do, but I just am not 100% sure how you're asking the question. Hopefully that answered it anyway. Uh, that guy's hiding in the brush. How annoying. Oh, hi. Well, that's cool. I didn't even realize he was piebald. And now he's dead. Poor guy. Ooh. <sighs> Excuse me. How dare you run me over like that? I think I even saw that one because he's got that wide rack. Okay, got that one. There are all the bucks up here. How how was I unaware of this area? That's one. Two misses. Perfect. Okay, I think we can still get him at least. 
Unless we shoot a rock. That would have been a little unfortunate. Okay, he's not going very far, so we let one get away. But we got a little pie bolt in the process. Do we delete anything? They hadn't even made it to their drink zone, but actually because of the spread that we shot them in, didn't even delete any zone, so we'll have to come back up here. Rude indeed. Huge male piebald. The biggest male I've ever seen. Still cool. Little level one fella. We'll still tax him. Put him in the second lodge maybe. Maybe even haul his shame rear buck since he's pretty tiny. What are the odds? Not that great. But evidently just good enough because it happened. Are geese still broken? Um, as far as I know, yeah. I believe they are still broken. 220's buck up here, by the way. That's the biggest one that we've killed. So, uh, Eric, thank you for the pointer on that one. Got us a couple of pretty neat kills there. Did you miss anything? I don't know if you caught the piebald whitetail buck we just shot. If you go back in the stream, like a minute and a half. It just happened. Uh, you can, uh, you can see it there. I still have yet to get a piebald whitetail. I didn't kill... It was mostly albinos that I was getting on the Great One Granite. I didn't kill that many of them. Just because it's taken some time. I wouldn't be shocked if they're on their way back up here. I don't see them. So I think we'll just continue on our way. Can stick a tent on the west side of that lake. I don't think I have room for any more tents on my Leighton. Pretty sure it doesn't tell you until you actually can. Oh. Can I? What tent did I take down that I'm not aware of? I'm not even sure. Well, I'll probably do that then. Might as well. I mean, if it's a spot that has a bunch of whitetail, regardless of, you know, if the new map ends up being the place to grind for whitetail, It'll still be good to have a tent up here. Eventually, one way or another, we're going to be back here on Leighton and wanting to go for Whitetail someday, so might as well have it. Yeah, that one buck got away. For some reason, I quit having Whitetail at Mushroom Lake, so did I. I do wonder, though, because that was a pretty big herd, if they just sort of got redistributed around. What? Waypoint, please. I feel like you use a diamond whitetail. We did on our first hunt, pretty much, of the new Great One grind, so there might be one out here. Plenty of spots that we have yet to get to. Oh, there's two whitetail buck tracks here yet. Huh. Well, maybe we'll come back up here kind of last if we place the tent. I just can't see them making it easier to grind for an animal that spawns a great one. But who knows? So, I see your point. But, something that has been a consistent complaint really since not too long after I got mine. There's a third white elbow track. How many did I not see? Anyway, uh, there's been so many complaints about white tail drinking in the brush, drinking, you know, up in the trees and stuff, like, away from the water. I wouldn't be too surprised if they just kind of made him drink more at lakes and, you know, sort of appeased that crowd, I guess? A little pay-to-win feeling, but I don't even think that's their ultimate goal with it. It looks more like Squidward than a mushroom. Does it? Let me see. Squidward. You know? It really does. Especially being blue. I never made that connection. You guys coming back up here? Where are you? I don't know. I'm not even sure... Uh what the max distance you can hear a call from is. It might be down over the hill. I'm not too worried. I assume it's one of those three, but it would be nice to get eyes on it. 
Um, Chase and Snakehead, thank you for the super chats, guys. Seeing how it's going to be a desert map, um, I'm hoping for yeah. long rest and drink zones during the day and mostly other feed zones at night. Boy, if that's the case, that is going to be the map to go for, you know, whatever diamonds are on, like, multiple maps. And then, of course, you know, whatever's there on that map. That just makes sense, but yeah. Uh, finally shot my first albino cape buffalo and then got ran over by another because of the 400 meter render bug. He is now bugged with no horns in my lodge. I really hope, because they saved the trophy rating, right? I really hope that the upcoming update is going to fix that and fix the ones in the lodge, but it's, it's hard to say. I don't think they've addressed that. Later, Dylan. Exactly, bottom boy. That's why I wonder if they would just do it. Which merch item do you suggest? Um, I like both that one and the gray one with the uh, white shoestring. I really like that white on gray. So, uh, just just saying. I think it looks really nice. Lake of the Layton. Yes. Okay. New tent spot? When was the last time we did that? Been quite some time. Just wanted to check, too. I don't see any sign of those other bucks coming back. But yeah, we'll definitely uh, fast travel up here before the end of the stream. I wanted to get into this area as well. Should we? Yeah, we're going to run the entire thing just to make sure we're not missing any specific spots. That's a that's a valid point uh, about the hoodies, by the way, Kylo. They are like I I am well aware that it would make sense for me to say good things about the merch, but uh, I'm just speaking objectively. They are super soft, and my favorite thing about them is they don't really let wind through at all. So like, I was wearing one of them in hunting season a lot, just like underneath my other clothes. Wow, duck game for real today. But it was just keeping me so warm, I loved it. And that's, you know, sitting still if you're just out moving around. This is embarrassing. My god. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Anyway. Can't shoot and speak at the same time. What I was getting at was, they are actually super comfortable and warm. Like, they're, they're good quality items as well. You do it, Kyla. Light color season, you got a bottom boy. I really like them. That's that's one that um we hadn't like considered as much at the beginning, I guess. And seeing the little mock up there, it looks good. Good effort. Why? Well, thank you. I'm just glad I killed it in the end. Thanks, crickets. Big aim. I definitely spent more money on 22 rounds there than the duck was worth. What species are you hoping that are coming to the new map? So, if the map is kind of the thing that I've been talking about and wanting for a really long time, what I'm hoping for, like, let's just say is the North American desert map, because that's the kind of thing that I've been really hoping they'd add. The species that I kept on mentioning would be Coos Deer, Desert Mule Deer, Desert Bighorn, Coyote, Jackrabbit, Javelina, um, Pronghorn, I don't know what else they could fit in there necessarily, but maybe like a quail? Like what? I don't know what's in the desert as far as like small birds, but yeah, as far as big game goes, that's it. Listen, Hunter Man, if you got, ooh, that's a potential diamond level two actually. If you got all the monies, it doesn't affect you. Oh, casually missing, it's fine. Why are you guys flying away? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make the much harder shot on the first try, Flanter. That's the way to do it. Pheasant or Bobcat? Are there? Yeah, I guess there are, huh? What do they have in Hunting Sim 2? It's... They call them cougars, but mountain lions, you know, puma, whatever you want to call them. Do they have Bobcats on the desert map, or is it like the Colorado Plains map? It's been too long, but I hadn't even considered like a 
cat species, quite honestly. There's another potential diamond duck over there. This time I'm going to actually range it. 180. Since we got to wait anyway, we'll just uh, double our odds of getting a level 2 diamond mallard. I still have never had one. They exist, but I've never had a level 2 diamond mallard. I've had a level 2 diamond of almost every species that's possible. The level 2 diamond jackrabbit that I killed was on Xbox one time, just randomly. But yeah, other than that, I've had pretty much all of them but mallard. What's up, Davey? Is it true there's a duck great one? Okay, so the duck great one, it was a legitimate kill. It wasn't hacked, but it was bugged. That was actually the screenshot that you're referring to, or the video I think it was, actually came from the Trailblazer beta, in which the great ones were on. And I think, essentially, they probably just had us testing Whitetail, and they didn't expect anybody to find one, but someone did kill a great one on that beta. And, yeah, what was happening was, animals that scored what should have been the max or higher were... I guess displaying as great ones. So somebody killed a max score duck, uh, 21 trophy rating, and that came up as a great one instead of just the normal diamond. And we had the same thing with caribou and reindeer, because I think for some reason their max score was somewhere in the 440s, but with Shurax, they could get up to like as high as 460 at one point. I don't know if they still do. So we were getting some great ones there that should not have been great ones, but for Caribou, it was crashing the game. For Reindeer, oddly enough, it defaulted to the Legacy Rack Diamond. It's probably going to be the case, Hunter Man. It might happen. What is a great one? Right now, only Whitetail can be a great one, and essentially... It is a level 10, much larger than otherwise would be possible, whitetail that is incredibly rare. A lot of people have done grinds with thousands and thousands of kills even without getting one. My grind lasted about 1,650 kills, all bucks, and um, I did actually get one. You can check out that video on this channel. I hope so too, Joe. It was cool like that we weren't sure what we were looking for, but everybody was in on trying to find it. That was a long shot. 180 meters on a duck, by the way. Haven't done that very much. Was that moose melanistic? It did look dark, but I don't think so. The melanistic bull that I shot, uh, it was on a stream. Like, I noticed it right away. So I, I think I'd have known. It is possible, Brock, for mallards or... Uh, I was going to say ducks in general. I don't think harlequin ducks troll. Maybe they do. But yeah, you can get level 3 gold mallards. Nice, hijack. Logging on to the game right now. Good luck, man. Hopefully you can find something good. I mean, we've killed a, a rare today. We had quite a stretch, actually. It ended a couple of streams ago, but we had a pretty good stretch there where we weren't killing any diamonds or rares, like, on any of the streams. But uh, Friday we killed two rares, today we got ourselves a rare. It's been a while since we shot a diamond, but pretty pleased with the number of rares lately. Right, bottom boy? Lung shots on ducks and rabbits are just the best. How do you get so many diamonds? Uh, for one, I play a lot. I've got 4,290 hours currently in-game. But I would say the... Like, the main strategy I have for the way I hunt is I'm hunting whatever is active. And when I say active, I mean currently drinking in almost every case. On occasion, I'm hunting animals that are maybe feeding, that feed out in the open. But, oh, ooh, 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 that might be a white-tailed drink zone. For the, for the sake of uh, clarity here, we'll just say I'm hunting whatever's drinking. So currently, in-game it is 13.39. The only species on all of Layton that drinks, I guess there's two actually, technically would be white-tailed jackrabbit, which I don't really care about, and white-tailed deer, which is exactly what I'm hunting right now, and you just increase your odds of seeing more animals in general if you hunt whatever's active, whatever's drinking, and if you know what's drinking, you can hunt the areas where they tend to 
be the most, and in this case we're somewhat searching for new whitetail zones, so it doesn't apply quite the same. But you see right there, just a whitetail doe chillin'. By the way, a very fat whitetail doe. 55 to 70 is quite the thick one. And just because of that I want to shoot it and see if it's max weight. I don't know what max weight for female whitetail is, but we're gonna look. When are you going to redo your lodge? At this point, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, there seems to be a new map on the horizon, and should I really redo my lodge right before the ones come out? The the issue was, like, I wanted to get my diamond red fox first, and it just hasn't happened. I really thought it would have by now, but no such luck. Alright, let's see. 55.1 kg? Probably not the max. Almost always it's 0 .00 or 0 .25, 0 .5, something like that. That was not. <laughs> Thick female. Um, Kaylin, thank you for the super chat. Got a diamond wolf. What multi mount should I use? Hmm. I prefer the bison multi mount, but if you have a bunch of the are they massive, extra, extra large? They changed the name at one point, but if you have a bunch of the largest platforms filled with other multi-mounts, wow, that's a bunch of rabbits, um, I would maybe do the Alpha Wolf one. Both are cool. I've got both uh, set up in my lodge. Kind of decent male. Small boyos. I should shoot him, but not today. Shouldn't those be at least a bronze? I think back in the day, what did, you would get 500 for a perfect shot on a bronze, and 400 was the bronze requirement back on the old system, but ever since the new scoring system, any, any animal that the female doesn't give a trophy rating is always going to be no metal. There's a couple in there that I hadn't spotted. There are a few, like, kind of good-sized rabbits. I just don't feel like running all the way over there to claim. Is it true that there is a max level of every species on each map? Um, I don't think so. That was a theory that was fairly widely held, I think, at one point. But over the course of, you know, years and many different grinds for different diamonds and rares and stuff, I just don't think that that would be the case. I actually think the game would be a little bit too easy if there was a max level of every species on the map now. There might be, but I don't think it's a guarantee that every single map has a max level of every single species. Because, actually I can almost guarantee that's not the case. Mountain goat are a really easy one to test. They only drink at, you could say six different lakes, two lakes are super close together, so it's really five spots. I've been on many maps during Mountain Goat drink time and checked all those lakes and there was no level 5 so I, I think actually that is as close to proof as I can give you that it's not a guarantee that it's gonna be the case. What's up Calvin? You have missed a small piebald white-tailed deer. Oh, speak of the, speaking? Speaking of small deer or speaking, whatever works. That's why I wanted to run this, though, because I figured there were other uh, zones. I think both of those shots were bad. So... Hopefully they die. Um, Craig, thanks for renewing your channel membership, by the way. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Good to have you back. This is going to be dumb sounding question, which gun do you like more, the engraved 10 gauge or the Call of the Wild 270? This is a classic question, right? Because technically it could be a Call of the Wild question, but I'm quite certain you're talking about classic. Uh, the 10 gauge. I don't, I don't care for the Call of the Wild 270 in classic. I don't care for the 270 period in classic, which makes it a really tough sell. It's cool, I like camo guns. It's probably the one camo gun in both games that I don't ever use. 
Sebastian, thank you for the super chat and the sticker, by the way. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Um, probably so, Kylo. Should have to... Should have to have Strug shirts, I think. Is that a coyote? I think it's a coyote. Just a female. You know what? They travel in packs. Maybe there's a little bit of the same idea that we've sort of went with with the red fox, where we shoot the female ones. Because sometimes it seems to get the males to spawn. Might as well kill that. Got it to not lag? Yeah, it talks. It's not quite as animated as the other one, but at least there's no lag. And of course, that lag was quite an issue with the uh, Twitch stream on Friday. I thought I heard like a mating call. Maybe not. Good vibes only and all. I mean, you're just outwardly projecting the fact that you have strugs and you own them. It's good vibes. What's up, waterfowlers? Rinaki's a good lake for big bucks, or at least my favorite. We were down there. We killed a couple of bucks earlier. Um, I need to make sure we get to this spot again. I'm not even sure. I want to get at least to there, as far as how far north we're going to go, but... I don't know exactly where they all drink through here. Have we seen this moose? I wouldn't be shocked if we have. I think it's a small four. Are the dogs helping? They definitely help in cases like we just had, where we make a poor shot and he can just track through the brush real quick. Oh, and the strugs. That's how you make it a positive vibe, you know? It's okay to have strugs. Just gotta, you know, own them. What, what's that saying? The first step to solving a problem is admitting you have one. The first step to pushing through the strugs is owning the strugs. Maybe that's... <laughs> maybe that's the t-shirt. Owning strugs is the most positive way to deal with strugs. This is very true. That's what I'm saying, man. We got this. You know what? Um, it was last week's stream, huh? Where we killed a bunch of pretty good-sized moose. That's not him, but that's kind of what I thought he'd look like. I'm not sure, because they don't drink at this time, so he's probably resting somewhere. We may not have even spooked him. I'm not too worried, he's just a common max weight estimate one, so not a big deal, but something worth checking into one of these days. Strugs happen. There you go. Strugs happen. Well, speaking of strugs. Big male vibes on that one. Dead male. Alright, we'll go and get that. Uh, we should have time to get down to the lake I mentioned down there in... I think that's technically Stewardnaki, right? Nope, it is in Mount Kraken. I tried. Don't tease me with a baseball tee? Hmm. Diamonds are a Schuster's best friend? Look at you guys. Could've just called this the merch stream. Flimglish is the only language spoken here. Yeah, and apparently it's a contagious disease, according to some of us. <laughs> Including myself, quite honestly. Are drink zones the best for finding golds to diamonds? I'd say so. Like, if you... Really, if you want a specific species, drink zones are gonna be the way regardless. But, yeah, just like hunting whatever's actively drinking, because... Think about it like this. If you were to look at this map and try to guess where whitetail feed, it could be anywhere. But if you want to guess where they drink, it's not going to be up here in the mountain where there's no water, you know? Like, it's just... You can have a better idea of where they are, and almost any body of water is more open, and therefore you can see them a little more easily. Like, there's a bunch of advantages to drink stones, which is why they are widely used for grinding and hunting in general. Spreads like wildfire. Well. Shoes first, ask questions later. That was our, uh... We went to a, a place camping one time that had just recently had, like, some kind of Bigfoot sighting report or whatever. That was our thing the whole time. Shoot first, ask questions later. Have I missed any cool kills? We had a small piebald whitetail buck, actually. 
like a level one. Speaking of small, one of the lowest level male coyotes I've ever seen. I guess there are more in here though. Let's get a couple of tracks. There's a decent sized male. I think I've killed a bunch of males here, so maybe there's respawns. It's at least two females. They might even just be right up here. I wouldn't be too surprised. They go pretty slow. None of these tracks seem to be a uh, very big one, so we'll call that good. Let's go down to that Mount Kraken Lake. Next step, indeed. Nah, that's weak, Kyler. Don't even, don't even uh, try to not take credit for it. You're a part of it. Do whitetails still get to their zones late? Uh, no, that... It was really not even just whitetail, it was all species, but... That was addressed... With the dogs update, maybe? Sometime around then? I aim 2300. Thanks to your vids, I got back to Call the Wild. I'm glad to hear that, man. It's a good time as well. Looks like we have a new map not too far away. Good time to get back into the game and, uh... You know, prepare for such things. I always get big coyotes over there. We're gonna shoot that. So I shot a mythical and a couple of sevens. I don't really remember how long ago at this point, but it was quite some time ago. He's gonna sit and rest, I'm almost certain. Somewhere right over in that area should be where the rest zone was. Might just shoot him while he's walking though, could be easier. Just in case there's others behind him, they're gonna go and rest too. But yeah, I, I get. We talked about this. I think it was Corpse mentioned it on Friday's Twitch stream. Like, the idea of hotspots or certain areas that tend to spawn larger animals. I've killed a couple of diamond coyotes in this area over the years. And because I keep seeing high level ones here, I do wonder if that's a thing. And if it is, we should really focus more on you know, specific areas with the Red Fox, but I'm not 100% sold that it works that way. It doesn't hurt to operate as if it does work that way, though. Did I hit the dough instead of the buck? I did. Technically, we may be deleting a zone. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's a buck. Is she gonna... I mean, usually a flesh wound from the 30-odd sticks kills anything. Eh, we might delete the zone, but it's alright. I'm not worried. Are you going turkey hunting again? Unfortunately, the season ended a week ago today. So, uh, no more turkey hunting till this fall. They changed it here as well. Uh, it was, for a long time, that you could hunt turkeys with a rifle. I think it's shotguns and bows only this fall, and the population is down. That's part of the reason that they've changed the regulations, but I'm... I'm hopeful we can manage something in the fall still. I don't know if it's because the doe hasn't died yet, or maybe it's just... Hi. Maybe it's just the map not updating, but... This zone is still here. If we fast travel away, she technically can't die until we come back. If we just don't come back... Oh no, she died. That was just the hunter mate not updating. I was gonna say, we could just not come back and save the zone, but... No such luck with that. Let's go over here to South Lake then. Twitch is so much easier than it is. Are you grinding for something or just having fun? A little bit of both. I mean, I'm still somewhat actively grinding to try to get a great one, but at the same time, it seems as though we are not far off a new map, and I wanted to pretty much take one last run around our Leighton and make sure that nothing we've done in recent times has spawned either a great one or a diamond or whatever that we'd be missing. And in fact, we were missing a little piebald buck that we got earlier, so it was certainly worth the time to come out here. Wanted to see me smoke a turkey with the 22? You know, I want to buy... Why did that look so huge? That gave me a heart attack. Is this one antler twisted or something? A little bit. That got me good. Anyway, I want to buy a 17 HMR here sometime soon. And in the past, you could hunt turkey with them. 
And it was a fairly commonly used rifle for anybody that was trying to take him with a rifle. At least around here. But not something I can do this season. We'll see what happens. Like, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do here really anytime soon, but we'll have to see. But I may try to do, like, a ground dog hunt with a 17 HMR if I can get my hands on one. Because my dad is just mowing the hay, which is going to expose all of the ground ogles. And I should say, if anybody's curious why I'd be hunting them, they are a legitimate, not only pest, but potential serious problem. Their little holes, like, if they're, if they're in a bad spot on a hill... They can break axles, they can roll tractors over, like, it, it's actually quite uh, important to not let them sort of overpopulate an area and get to that dangerous point. What's up, Ollie, bud? Just got here listening on my way home from work. What did I miss? One small piebald whitetail buck's been the only uh, major thing. Just shot a 227 scoring whitetail, which is our best one thus far. I forgot the coyotes. Oh, I did. Um, I could still go over there and claim it because render glitch, but he dropped. Let me mark this. I want to get up here a little further to another zone. I mean, I could all the above. It's just, it's really a matter of uh, not wanting to use up my... 7 mm 8 rounds specifically. What's up, Scarecrow? Are Whitetail fixed? Not entirely. I think somebody just posted one today. On occasion, I think they're broken great ones. You'll see a level 3 Whitetail that weighs 70 to 85 kg. I think even sometimes level 3 weighing 55 to 70. And that that's not supposed to happen, so there's something still wrong with them. Yeah, they'll do that too, bottom boy. There was one... So we used to, when we were younger, we used to raise chickens. We actually did both, uh, like, meat chickens and laying hens. There was, at one point, a groundhog that lived under the coop. And now, actually, a cat has taken up residence in that little groundhog hole. What part of the PA state are you in? Obviously not directly uh, where you live, but what county? I generally just say West Central PA to, uh, you know, not give away too much. Looks like we had some white tail here. They must have spooked. Because the tents, yeah. Tents plenty far enough away. When they spook, a lot of times you can see them. If you go over this way, we'll see if they're here. Yeah, 223 would be good for them. I've always, like, we have hunted groundhogs with larger calibers, but I prefer to use, like, a 17 or something, you know, around that. My dad's got a 22-250, which would also work quite well. I... Don't ask me why he did this, but years ago... He put a straight 24 power scope on that thing. I'm like, I'm not trying to shoot a groundhog 100 yards away with a 24 power scope. Like, that is... I'll be looking at the eyelashes on it with that kind of magnification. It's ridiculous. Like, I've tried. I don't know why it's a thing. So, yeah. I'd use that <laughs> if not for the scope. Well, I know there were bucks here. I just can't see them. And small rabbits. Alright, we'll go ahead and recover the coyote then. Then we'll have a little bit of time to do sort of like a half run here at the end. Just shot a diamond whitetail scoring to 60. I was wondering if you think the whitetail pop will be reset on Leighton. I doubt it because there's, well, there is some kind of fix, huh? Don't they have, in the official Discord, something listed about a fix for, uh, the overweight whitetails or underweight whitetails or something? If there's a fix, they may reset the pop. I'm not sure, though. Thank you, by the way, for the super chat.
For now, you say, Kyla. Just the, the mere thought of it, bottom boy. Understandable. Just thinking of 24x gives me daymares. It's just absurd. There was one time we took it, and there was a groundhog just chilling on his back feet, like, you know, standing up. I'm gonna say 80 yards away. And, like, I could get the scope on it, but trying to use that freehand, like, you can just about forget about it. It's insane. Yeah, I do, Hunter. There is a fix. TK even mentioned it last Tuesday. In that case, I wouldn't be the least bit shocked if they reset a pop. Usually fixes cause pop resets. I see you there, Nate. Whitetail IRL with Velvet looks so sick. I'd love they did some kind of deer species with Velvet in this game. It'd be so cool. That kit. Hold on. That came up as a whitetail. It says coyote. I've never seen that. Interesting. Also, not sure where I hit it, but it gave us a silver. Interesting. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and reset the time yet again. Back to 1212, we shall go. Gotta go, hope you get a great one soon. Thank you, Giancarlo, and thank you for hanging out as always. I appreciate you. We'll reset here to 1212. We will switch to Quattro real quick. And then we'll just switch straight back. Did the Hunter games get you into hunting, or did hunting get you into the games? Hunting got me into the games. Well, sort of. Uh, when I was younger, like, I would see my dad hunting, and I always wanted to do that. And, like, I would be, you know, four years old. Obviously, I'm not going hunting yet. So I played quite a number of hunting games, but I was hunting for quite some time before, like, the Hunter or anything, you know, EW-related came out. I did see Nate saying hi, by the way, Kyla. What's going on, Nate? Okay, let's find somewhere to run to. Where might that be? I don't know. Uh, Why not here? Let's see if Whitetail drink over in the spot. 12-12, best time. That, that's how you get great ones. You gotta spawn at 12-12. Nice, Parker. Merch is awesome. Thank you, just have fun. I am quite pleased with everything that's uh, kind of gone on with that. What are you killing your next great one with? If the render bug persists... Actually, you know what? Not even the render bug. If the bug that has plagued great ones is not absolutely proven to be fixed, I'm going to kill it with whatever I've got on me. There's been a consistent bug for a really long time where it seems as though when you have a great one in your render and then leave render of it, it becomes like an overleveled whitetail. So I'm not leaving render to go back and get a bow or whatever. I'm shooting with whatever I have on hand, you know? Yet, yeah, bottom boy, my my dad actually shot, it's probably his second biggest buck, um, but one of the two that he actually has mounted on the wall, yeah. it was the year I was born, so I would have been two or three months old, he, he has a picture of me with it. It's interesting that we have such similar things. Um, Jordan, thank you for the super chat, by the way, thank you so much, man. Big fan of the channel, just started playing 300 hours in, not too bad, man. I would almost say that's even a little beyond just started, but... Uh, could you briefly explain the pros and cons of multiplayer? I haven't tried any servers yet. Okay. So the basic idea behind spending any significant time in multiplayer, like let's say you're playing multiplayer and not with friends, is that everybody's kind of hunting style is different. And you may have a favorite spot. Let's take Leighton, for example. Um, 
maybe this lake right here is your favorite spot. I killed a diamond elk here, so, you know, there's, it could be reasonable that this could be my favorite spot. Another player who has Leighton Lakes open as a multiplayer server maybe never goes there. And you could go and check that spot that you love to hunt on your own map, and there might be a diamond or something cool waiting there for you. And that's kind of the basic concept, is like, you can hunt those areas where you go in single player all the time, and you're used to seeing everything that's there, and when you go to multiplayer, it's all new to you. I should probably explain as well that you have a animal population file, and the... All the animals in every hunt you go on are going to be the same, except for anything you've shot is going to be replaced by something else. When you hear us talking about respawns, that's what a respawn is. It's like the new animal that's replacing the animal that you've shot. So like, we're going to this lake right here. We just saw that level 3 black tail run away. Didn't kill it. It's going to be here next time. There's like another female coyote track here. There's going to be other animals that we don't shoot all over the map. And occasionally, a single player can get a little bit boring. Because you've seen like 90 to 95% of what you're going to see. It's only those respawn animals that are new, or maybe ones that you just missed on the previous hunt. Whereas multiplayer, they've maybe been seen by another player, but they're at least new to you. Like that, that for me, is something that keeps things a little more interesting in that aspect. So it's kind of those two things. What is your most favorite diamond in Hunter Call the Wild? As far as ones I've actually shot, the Piebald Diamond Whitetail, we shot it live on Twitch, and like just to kill a super rare on a live stream was super special, so gotta go with that. I don't know if we have this tent too close, I'm gonna climb up this hill back here and see. No worries, Jordan. Glad it was useful to you. Would you take the great one with a buckshot shotgun if the glitch gets fixed? Would seem like a first? I don't know. There, There's a couple of aspects there that you have to consider. Number one is buckshot is not that powerful. Like, if you can get a bunch of pellets into lungs, like, you're probably going to drop the animal. But the penetration is not great, so you need to be close and to be like perfectly broadside which when you're calling one in is far from a guarantee number two is that if you try to take any sort of longer shot you're risking some kind of like stray pellet hitting it in the skull and ruining the integrity that way i'd be a little bit afraid to do that i must say i don't know if i'd do it or not uh where are we going let's uh let's check here because we found that zone at the very beginning of the stream, but we did not really do much with it. Can you get a great one with different fur types? Yes, that's been confirmed by EW. I don't think there's been any shot legitimately, but it is possible. Got level 5 reindeer 390. They... them and feral goats... They troll, like, so far off a diamond, it is just sad that they're even max level, quite honestly. Not sure why they're like that. I feel like we should probably reconsider our tripod placement a little bit. Because the zone's somewhere in the brush. What we're going to do is walk over here and call, and we should be able to bring him out of there, but... Might need a tripod. Maybe that's why I had my tripod there. Because I had one sort of like this little bit of land that's jutting out into the water. And then we moved it. And now I'm kind of thinking I want to move it back. What was that about choose the hunt videos? Oh, can you do a video where we choose the hunt again? Yeah, I want to do one. Uh, I was halfway working on one. When was that? When I got... No. I think when... Kyla came here and then... After she went back the first time. So like in March. But then just other... Things kind of... Slowed me down. Well thank you Nate. Since a lot of shotguns can't take scopes. There should be... 
a choke attachment that you can slot instead to help with the buckshot. I am 100% in favor of like shotgun chokes and that kind of customization. I'd really love if we could customize like broadheads for arrows and bolts as well. Like, what if we could have a broadhead that maybe is a little lower on penetration and damage but more accurate? And then one that maybe reduces accuracy a bit but gives you better penetration and damage? Because that's a fairly realistic idea. Like, if you take fixed blades, now you can tune them and get them to the point that they're quite accurate, but just for the sake of um, the idea here. Fixed blade broadheads are probably going to be at least considered to be a little less accurate than mechanicals, but they'll punch through a shoulder blade much better than a mechanical broadhead will. So, like, those kinds of things, they could not only make your loadout and your hunting style unique, they could just, like, add an extra layer of gameplay, and they could add a little more... A more, more to do, a little more replayability. Didn't quite get that shot in there, but... Like, let's say you've been playing for hundreds of hours and you just want a bow hunt and maybe you want the ultimate challenge. So you're using the broadheads that are the most accurate but are the weakest. You really got to make like a good, accurate shot there. I think it would be good. Suppressors would be amazing. If they are, in my opinion, like strictly a I'll call it cosmetic I'm fine with it like uh, if they lower the sound of the gun to us that's cool but I don't want it to lower the spook radius if animals spook like say 150 meters away instead of 200 I just think that's making the game a bit too easy have you ever thought about coming up to Canada for a hunt when things start opening up here, I haven't been moose hunting here in years, but there's some nice ones. At some point, yeah, I'd like to. There's a lot of places I'd like to go for, you know, different hunts. That's not one of the same bucks. That was a pretty big buck. I don't know where he had been hiding, but that's unfortunate that he spooked. Almost managed to get a shot at him. I mean, he'll come back because he was coming back once. Guess we'll take it slow then. The best Call of the Wild gamer ever, as I'm spooking the big male that was here. Shouldn't take too long for him to get back. We'll just crawl along. I think I missed possibly message number one there. Where is that? Oh, I gotcha. Uh, this will probably be my last stream to watch for a while. Uh, again, going back to work on Wednesday. I got you, man. I appreciate you hanging out as always, and looking forward to when you get to come back. And the good news is, you know, all the videos and streams will be there when you get the chance, you know? Trying to do a bear hunt this season, then maybe look into a Kentucky elk hunt next year. The Kentucky elk hunt is one I really think I want to check into as well. It should be a ton of fun to get to do that. that there are uh, Roosevelt's there, right? Pretty sure that's the case. Generally speaking, if an animal comes back to a zone once, they come back again. I don't see that buck yet, though. Um, I don't know, Sam, is it? If suppressors were added, they should cut the hunting pressure in half and keep hunting stains at the one quarter pressure. They shouldn't stack? Yeah, actually, that would be a, a pretty good little addition there. Still spook the animals the same, but they also do have that positive effect of the hunting pressure thing. I'd be on board with that. I'm not sure about that buck. I mean, I don't think it was the diamond. So I guess we gotta move off. There should be, or at least there could be, yeah. Other deer over on that side yet? 
about 300 meter shots again, which did not go well the first time, but we'll we'll go over this. What did I hit? That doe jumped in front of the shot. Hell annoying. I also shouldn't have taken those shots because we have to go and track this one. Oops. Mistakes were made. Mm, because none of those deer died, we better stick with this side. I appreciate you, winners. I do believe they are. We've got that herd down in southern West Virginia that are rosies, but I'd say we're still eight to ten years away from them even offering a drawing to take one of those. Yeah, and we have them here too. Um, I'm not even sure which. Oh, he must be out of render. All right, this leg did not go to plan, but it's quite alright. These ones died, or one of them did. We'll see if we can find it. But anyway, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like that here where I think there's ten bulls at the most that you're able to hunt. And I like if I get to go on an elk hunt, I'm not really looking to go for a cow elk necessarily. So, I don't know, my odds just seem low here. Rocky's on the trail of something. You are not wrong, Vector. Two hers 300 meters away in opposite directions. Yeah, I, I could have planned better. There is probably no chance this thing's still in winter, but... Uh, maybe. We're standing... If it died in the next... I don't know. 40, 50 meters, there's a slight chance. Still see tracks and no dead deer, though. Do they only above? I don't... Like, I've, I've only seen small bulls here. I don't even know... I guess I've seen pictures of some of the big ones, but... I don't know much about these ones. Yeah, this is just gonna be out of render strugs. We'll go elsewhere then. I actually want to check this spot again. Cause small antlers. I don't know what the PA record is. Like they can get pretty big, just most of them don't. Does streaming on YouTube not violate a partnership? Because I know it violates an affiliate. Um, it depends, actually. So, I don't think it does it violate the affiliate thing. I'm almost certain it doesn't, but if you have... So, like, th they um set up your contracting thing differently depending on what you have already. So, with the Twitch partnership, at least, they, like, had a question on there, like, do you already have a following on another platform and of course I said yes to YouTube and uh, yeah it's just a 24-hour exclusivity thing so any content that is over there on Twitch can't be uploaded here to YouTube for 24 hours so for instance my Subnautica stream from yesterday that'll be up on my Flantro channel in about 45 minutes because I gotta wait that 24-hour period first and Really, it could have been up earlier. I just wait till after the stream's over. PA ones get huge bodies and rosy looking antlers. Wouldn't be surprised if sometime in the future they rename as a subspecies. I'm not smart enough on the whole thing to know what they would do, but that would be interesting. I'll have to try to look up the PA record because, like, I know in the game news every year they post the biggest one and or post they have an article about the biggest one, and they, they get pretty big. Welcome back, Dylan. How do you see how many animals you've shot? If you go into the Codex Hunter hunting profile, it's up top here. We're just cruising along. We should do something for five threes there. It'll be quite some time until we can do that again. What's up, Tucker? Doing pretty good today. We're just out of here chasing Whitetail around a little bit. The Hidden Lake in Renaki usually has a lot of Whitetail for me. I don't have a Whitetail zone there. I've got Whitetail zones at the two lakes around it. 
But we did check there fairly recently. Did I shoot three or only two? I don't even know. Rocky will tell us. Just two. Okay, to the next then, which I don't even know... We'll sort of hop around a little bit. We only got about 15 minutes left, so... We'll check a couple more spots. Yeah, winter's like 15 minutes at the most. Unless we, you know, end up tracking something down forever. What's up, new dog? Someone really posted three hack super rares in the Discord just now, did they? Unfortunately, that does not surprise me. That's a okay level two. Ooh, they're in a not too nice spot though. I guess we'll kind of scoot over and try to call them out of there, because I don't know, like we saw a couple walking in, but there may be others that we couldn't see. What's up, Milk and Bad? It's going pretty good. I don't know how many Whitetail we've killed today, but we've just been out here chilling, just smoking all kinds of bucks. Alright, let's see if we can bring them on out of there. Can't wait to pay, buy the Hunter Call the Wild. It's a good game, man. I think you'll enjoy it. If possible, New Mexico map Roadrunner should be on it. Do people hunt Roadrunners? Is that a thing? I think it's just the one buck, which is a little alarming, but we are here to check for essentially whatever's left, so we'll take what we can get. And scope in twice, I guess. Has anyone ever seen a Roosevelt over 14 score? I think I've seen 416. I want to say that's the highest. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. PA elk records. Current non typical record stands at 442 and 6 eighths, and typical stands at 387 and 7 eighths. All the above, what's the non tip record for out there? Tell me. I, I don't know. I'm sure the typical record's over 400. Wiley Coyote hunts Roadrunners. You know what? You got a point. He never successfully hunts them. He's never filled a tag, but he does hunt them. Where else do we gotta go? Um, we went back to Chila already. We went there. We could check Balmont again. Oh, wasn't this the spot? I said I wanted to come back, because a couple of them got away here, I think. Do you have a new mouse yet? I uh, do not. The thing was, like, I got a new mouse not that long ago to combat the same issue. And I'm not so sure it's actually the mouse. I don't know if it is something with the software or, like, what's going on, but yeah, I'm just dealing with the toggling, which really I've gotten used to pretty quick. It still does screw up on occasion, so something's not right, but yeah, it gets the job done. That? Ah, never mind. I was going to say that's a potential diamond level 2, but the score has been not correct. Alright, we'll try to kill the two bucks then and be on our way. The one thing, I'm not sure how, but I do think when I'm trying to kill three animals in one zone, that toggle aim affects me, and I actually think what it is would be because I had to hold down the right click before, I think just that extra pressure on the mouse gave me a better control over like my recoil management than I get with toggle aim. Now, I could do better, I just gotta get used to it. But I'm struggling there as of now. What's up, Kinsko? I think our non-tip record is smaller than our typical. Really? 431 as non-tip and 440 typical? Alright, I gotcha. 440 typical is absurd. Nice, Sam. 30.4 Fox on Classic Nice just have fun. That's like a uh, Diamond Call of the Wild kind of territory. Nicely done. Tis nap time. You've been hard at work today. Would be well deserved. Alright, I don't know where those other deer are, but there was an 85-200 track, and I think, unless we find it quickly, 
that might be a good way to wrap up is trying to figure out where that one is. Hi. <laughs> I knew I heard something over there. What's going on, Kensko? What's the best way to get rid of hunting pressure? Make hunting pressure elsewhere. So, depending on the map that you're on, it's often hunting like the small game. So, like on Leighton, hunting rabbits or ducks can be a really good way to clear pressure. Uh, Hirschfeld, and prior to the geese being broken, um, hunting geese was a really good way to clear pressure, but right now I kind of recommend doing something else. But yeah, it's, it's just usually hunting whatever's the easiest to hunt, and a lot of times that is the smaller game. So the question is, were we ever far enough away for these to spawn in? And I'd say we were. We should have run tracks or something somewhere. The trot tracks going this far away pretty much confirms that. We'll see what this guy is. He is a common, so not any super rare potential, but we'll still see. Both those records were shot in the same year. That's the kind of thing that just happens. Like, multiple records being set in the same year. Just... Why wouldn't it be that way, you know? I saw someone kill somebody else's great one. Where did that message go? Oh yeah, it's his second one since he already killed the one on his map. That's pretty crazy luck. Was it the one that, like, one guy saw it as a level 3 tiny weight estimate and one guy saw it as a great one? Because I think I do remember seeing that. Small coyote. Um, what's that one, bottom boy? Killing a record elk with a bow would be, like, forever bragging rights in the entire state. Oh. It's a doe, but it was blended in super well. It might just be all the above that, um... You know, the overall populations get to different points over time. Whether it's, you know human cause or predators or whatever either makes their populations hit those hills or valleys, peaks or valleys. Might just happen to be at a time that we're at a good peak for size and stuff. Neglect? What sort of neglect is going on? Did I cause it? There's the chance of that. Do we have any idea when the new map is coming? I will say it once again, I've said it a couple times. Uh, throughout the course of the stream, and in case you missed it, the devs kind of left me with a little message to basically let you guys know, if you can, try to clear your schedule and catch their live stream uh, tomorrow. It sounds like something good is going to be um, announced there. That's a big two. I don't know if that's the diamond rack, but he does go up high enough as far as the estimate goes. Is that? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think that's a diamond rack. Go nervous, please. Let me shoot you. Do it. There you go. Cool. Uh, Lord... Brachidios? Am I saying that even closely correctly? I hope so. Thank you for the super chat. Sorry for the little amount of money. Don't even worry about it, man. You're here watching to begin with. That's more than I could ever ask for. Um, but do you think an albino level 7 female red fox is cool? That's up there with the rarity of, like, an albino diamond, nearly. You don't see a lot of level 7 female fox. It's not... I wouldn't quite put it at super rare, but... Yeah, that's one of those things where... For them to be the specific level they are is quite uncommon, so I think it's very cool. I am the secret owner of EW. Listen, there would be coos deer in this game. Already. There would also be... A... Rutting whitetail map. If, uh, if I own the company. Just saying. What time is the stream? Eastern EW stream? It should be 10 a.m. Eastern, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain that's their stream time. What's up, TTV? Alright, just a 220. Couldn't tell from the side if he was big or small. Thought he might have been around that 220 range, but... Anyway, five minutes. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to attempt to clutch a big male? 
Uh, where have we not been <laughs> since we did the second run? We made it to most of the spots. We could go here. See what's around. Um, I'm not going to answer that cycle because I'm not sure the tone that you're uh, putting behind that one. That's the, uh, if it's a negative thing, then it's not something that needs to happen. <laughs> not required, you know what I mean? Smitty, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I'm a good man. Hope you are as well. And tis true sweetness. Merch life. Big mail clutch, we're gonna try. Gonna try to get a big mail. There was that moose track that was over in this area. But I see no large moose anywhere. I'm gonna have to try going somewhere else. I at least want to get up here to where I can see a little further. I had coos deer in real life. I want them in the game really bad and hopefully on the new map. But you also don't want them to be like normal whitetail. Yeah. They definitely got to be, you know, smaller and a little more gray color, a little tougher to find in general. That was the issue. Like, as much as I enjoyed having coos deer to hunt in uh, Outdoor Adventures, they got, like, as big as... I think they got bigger than whitetail. I think my record... Um, Who's here in that game was bigger than my record whitetail? So that didn't make sense. Now that's clutch indeed, bottom boy. We're gonna try to clutch a whitetail down in this area. I haven't hunted whitetail down here in a while. This is, of course, where we killed the famous piebald diamonds, so... You never know what's gonna appear in such an area. It was right over there where that moose was. We actually shot a different deer, ran over there to claim it, and then stumbled into the piebald diamond as he ran past us. It was a pretty interesting moment. Go, Rebecca. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate, Sean. Ooh. There's a couple of thick moose on this map that we gotta figure out where they live. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be a fun thing to do. Run around and try to find these couple of max weight meese. Thing is, if they're not big, then that turns out to be a not very interesting video. <laughs> a couple of level fours, but... Who knows? Might be fun. Alright, I've had Whitetail drink up at this end of this little finger here down here in Leighton Lowe's, so what do we got? About 400 meter run, something like that. We'll be able to see to the end. And that shall be it. Uh, Court? Court? I just read both your names at once. Kurt, excuse me, thank you for the super chat. Sorry about that. Uh, you're literally the Bob Ross of hunting games. I made a happy little accident in uh, trying to pronounce your name there. Let me just cover that up with some compliments and praise for the super chat. Thank you, man. <laughs> the Bob Ross of hunting games. I don't actually... Um, before me, Sean Johns was somewhat known as the Bob Ross of hunting games. I don't know if you guys maybe recall that, or at least not to Call the Wild. I don't know about hunting games. He mostly did Call the Wild content. Oh, nice, Tux. 320, is that the rack that's got like the small stickers on the whatever they'd be called, like G2s? White tail doe track, interesting, interesting. Not quite sure where it lives, but maybe it's around there. Been following for a while, but this is my first live stream. Glad you can make it. We are unfortunately pretty close to wrapping up here, but I'm hoping to manage to snag something here towards the end. Got a couple of deer tracks. They must drink down like in that corner or something. None of them are large deer tracks, so we'll just continue on our way here. Hey, thanks, winners. You like that happy little accident? Uh, where did that go? If you want to post it in Discord, Tux, because uh, since we're getting pretty close to the stream, there's a reasonable chance I'm going to miss your. Uh, Chat, unfortunately. Why hunt coos if you can hunt big whitetail? The difficulty of hunting coos deers is what um, I would say is so intriguing about them. They're not known as the gray ghost for 
no reason, you know? They they are very difficult to find, especially any kind of quality buck. No big males as far as the mallards go. As soon as we can see up to this end here, we're gonna pretty well wrap it up. What do you even mean, Kyla? How dare you? If only she was here. It's my turn to actually go down to Georgia next anyway. Pretty soon I'll go into plan. Who should we watch tomorrow to find out the release of the new map? I can't promise that's what they're actually going to, um, you know, have on the stream, but it, it sounds kind of like that's probably the case, especially since we had the little teaser trailer. But that's going to be EW's live stream. Um, they're here on YouTube, they're on Twitch, I think they're on Facebook as well. Uh, should all be expansive worlds. And it should be at 10 a.m. Eastern. So what you're saying, Kyla, is that I shouldn't come down there. Got it. I see. Too bad, I'm coming anyway. Alright, uh, none of these tracks are at all special. I was hoping to find something to shoot at the end of the thing here, but... No such luck. Somewhere down here we shot a troll level 5 moose not that long ago. Not a deer, not a moose, not a duck. How lame. Do I still have that tent at the railroad? I think I moved that. Yeah. Female coyotes. Equally lame. I know what we can do. We can... Are there still ducks at this lake? I'll check the spot first. Oh, that would have been cool, Winters. I shall visit you. Oh. I mean, you can whenever it works. I'm just saying. I'm well aware that, uh, you know, flying and everything is quite exhausting, and I don't want you to be the only one having to do that. Kyla should shoot the first animal on the new map? Like, out of the two of us, or when she's here? What do you mean? I'm trying to go somewhere to kill a duck. Like, how hard is this? Apparently very difficult. Just messed up the diamond black bear, but I already had one. Hopefully you can find another one. It seems like Silver Ridge Peaks is still pretty loaded with black bears, so you might be able to get a little redemption out that way. Am I really going to struggle to find a duck right now? Is that... Is that what my life has become? Should be one here, right? Surely. Aw. Never, Kyla? I wish the turkey hunting in this game was a lot more realistic. Yeah, it, it could use a lot of work. Pretty much all bird hunting of any kind in this game could use a lot of work to be more realistic. I'm about to give up on ducks and go hunt something else. How are there none? What is this? Alright, white-tailed doe it is. Maybe we can get a buck to spawn in that zone. Even better. Get dead. Alright. Long run over there. In the meantime, uh, yeah. Should uh, probably go ahead and put the merch on screen once again if you guys want to take a look at that. Link's in the description. I'm sure Kyla can put the link in um, chat as well. And, speaking of links, if you want to do yet another link there. The community tab poll. Um, those of you that didn't hear us talking about it earlier, we have a poll on the community tab here on the channel, basically asking about um, potential hats as merch as well. Something Kyle and I have looked into, especially given you guys' feedback. And any feedback on that poll will be greatly appreciated. So if you want to check that out too, um, yeah. Like I said, it would be appreciated. What dad joke did I even say there? Um, Rebecca, I missed it. Bottom Boy is coming up with t-shirt designs. I like it. Smort. Sounds good, Savage. Good luck, man. Already voted. Appreciate you, man. I am... I didn't realize that it was going to be possible, but, uh... I guess to go a little further with the idea of doing hats as merch, we we're looking at some kind of like camo hats, and I am extremely excited at the prospect of doing that because I've always wanted to do it and I never had the means to do so, but thanks to Kyla, it seems like that's a possibility, so uh, looking forward to getting to that point. 
We're going for the great one of shot over 5,000 whitetail. Is there just something wrong with the whitetail or am I just unlucky? I mean, honestly, man, we don't know what the spawn rate is. It might be 1 in 10,000 and everybody else has mostly gotten lucky that has gotten one. You know, you might be under odds still. It's hard to say. Um, but as far as I know, it, like, unless you've had a level 3 whitetail that isn't max weight estimate, then you haven't had, like, a broken spawn great one. You've just not had the luck to get one to spawn. Everything you say is a dad joke. Fair enough. Thanks to Chez. Thanks to both of you. How about that? You've both done great work with it so far. I'm really pleased with it. If you guys want to check that out once again, link's in the description or Kyla had it there in the chat. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, I will hopefully see you in tomorrow's video, which is, in fact, the last IRL turkey hunting video probably of the year, unless I go in the fall. It's not super likely, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, hope to see you there. Bye!